What's up, guys? Um, geez, last time I talked to you, I had uh, had an awesome, <laughs> needless to say, the an awesome experience at uh, at a uh, grocery wholesale club here in upstate New York. It was funny. Um, it, it makes me wonder because um, if you didn't watch it, basically uh, somebody uh, th these folks parked in a in a, in a place where. Um, it's closer to the store so that you have, um, so if you have infants or uh, pregnant or carrying, whatever. Um, this one was specifically for if you had infants. These folks didn't have infants, they just wanted a closer spot. So anyways, I left a note on their, uh, on their car, letting them know that somebody noticed that they did something stupid and how it might affect other people. Um, but today, um, on a different note, I, I kind of want to talk about something that I started, I don't want to say get, got into, but... I, uh, for, for a minute, I was smoking cigarettes. Um, when I was living in Florida, I kind of picked up the habit just because my job was uh, pretty pretty stressful down there and I had a long commute. So I started smoking cigarettes to compensate for the long commute and to uh, kind of relax myself and take my mind off it. Um, one thing I noticed is the hardest thing, I feel like the hardest thing about getting into smoking cigarettes is just getting past the point of you know, getting past the anxiety of going into a store and purchasing the cigarettes and figuring out what you like. Once you figure out what you like, it's so easy just to go in and spend that. You know, here in New York, it's ten bucks for for a pack of cigarettes, um, and it's so easy to just to spend that money on them because you. It, it's not hard. I mean, you you get past the judgments and you're just smoking cigarettes. So I, I wanted to get away from cigarettes because, first of all, they don't really do anything for me anymore. Um, when you smoke enough cigarettes in a day um, and throughout the week, you, you no longer get that that relaxation or that buzz. You're pretty much just smoking a cigarette just because. So the other day, I um, I went to the store and I picked up one of these um, e-cigarettes. I used to vape, um, but these are a little bit different. These are called uh, Juul. They're pretty popular around the world now, um, or at least in the U.S. I don't know if they're in other countries, but... Um, the negative side of them is kids that are under 18 are, are picking up on them and they're they're able to get nicotine without having to go to a store and buy it. So that is the downside to these. However, positive side to them is uh, one you don't you don't get that smell that, that smoky smell after smoking cigarettes. Um, your your mouth doesn't taste bad or anything. They actually have some pretty neat flavors. And uh, for the most part, the nicotine in these are just concentrated, so you don't you don't necessarily need to sit there and smoke on it for um, you know all day to, to to get a buzz. You just kind of get a nice little buzz from it. You, you set it down, and you know another couple hours, you won't hit it again. Whatever. Super accessible, lightweight, um, nice to have. I know a lot of people have done reviews on these, but I'm just kind of adding my two cents to them. But I got to say, for the price of them, I paid. I may have got ripped off a little bit. I paid 50 bucks, and I got the device, and I got four four cartridges, these top cartridges. Um, they actually just come come right off like this. And so you can just buy them when you're out, and you just plug them in the top, and as long as this thing's charged up, you just hit it. There's no on or off button, none of that. There's no uh, replacing coils, none of that, which is really nice. Because when I had my vape, my vaporizer, I had to... Um, you had to change out the coils, so you're paying for that. You got to buy the juice. Um, the juice was, it was okay. I mean, after a while, you kind of start to get immune to the flavors, and you don't taste them as, as much anymore. So, there's um, to me, there's a lot of downsides to the vaping. Yeah, you get a lot more vapor and clouds out of it, but I don't really give a shit about that. Um, which kind of leads me to my next topic. These actually have a pretty good. Um, these put out a pretty good amount of. Uh, vape for what they are, probably the same amount as you'd get out of a cigarette, maybe a little bit less, maybe about the same, I guess, um, but yeah, I dig it, I've been I've been using it for a day and a half, and uh, I gotta say I'm pleasantly surprised for, for the price I paid for it, and uh, you know, for the little punch that, it, the big punch that it packs um, for this little guy, so I'll kind of rip it a few times and show you what it is. Right now I have a, uh, like a mint flavor, it's like a menthol flavor in it, um, which I like, it's kind of like, eh, 
it's like chewing a piece of gum. <laughs> not as not as good for you, <laughs> but it's like chewing a piece of gum. But these are, uh, yeah, these are pretty uh, pretty neat. I would say. Um, I can't sit here and say I'd recommend it to people because for once, if you don't smoke, I would stay away from inhaling anything that's not oxygen because it's not, you know, inhaling anything aside from oxygen is not is not healthy for you. But if you do happen to smoke cigarettes and are looking to get off of them because the, they're expensive or whatever, um, these are definitely a good a good substitution. Um, they don't smell and uh, fairly cheap. And I haven't really done the the calculation on them because I don't I haven't smoked it long enough to know how long one of these little uh, jewels, as you would call it, would last me. But in a couple weeks, I'll do another uh, I'll do another review on it and kind of give you an update on how much time you get out of this thing depending on how much you smoke and you know if, if truthfully you're spending uh, an exorbitant uh, less amount of money um, on these than you will for cigarettes so again I don't recommend these uh, if you're not a smoker you know don't get into it just to get into it because to be honest this is another way that you can get uh, you can find yourself um, getting into nicotine um I can also say that I've, I've been back and forth between vaping and cigarettes, and vaping doesn't uh, vaping doesn't really help you quit smoking. It uh, it gets you away from smoking cigarettes and kind of puts your concentration on smoking uh, e juices that still do have nicotine in them. So I noticed that. When I had juice in my vaporizer and, and I was good with that, I, I didn't really think about cigarettes. But uh, as soon as I was out of juice or I needed a new coil and didn't have a minute to do it, I found myself uh, falling back and going and getting uh, cigarettes again. So none of these none of these e e cigarettes or any of these vaporizers they none of them help you quit smoking. So don't don't get into it under the impression that uh, you know you're gonna buy this and you're gonna quit smoking. Yeah, you won't smoke cigarettes, but you're still getting nicotine, so keep that in mind. But for the price of it and everything, I would say 10 out of 10, this is a cool little device. Um, my dad's trying to get, get away from smoking, and he buys the the, the blue, the BLU brand of uh, uh, e-cigarettes. They're a one-time pop. You buy them. You don't, enter, you, know, you don't refill them or nothing. They're like eight bucks. Um, and this is something that I would probably introduce to my dad just to let him know, like, hey, man, these are going to be a lot cheaper over the course of of, uh, of a month. Um, you know, because he's probably buying, I don't know, one of those e-cigarettes a week. So that's $8 every time, 8 to $10 every time times 4 40 bucks a month. Um, this is 50 bucks for four cartridges and the device. Um, and those, you could probably get, you know, depending on how much you do it, probably get a, a month out of the... Uh, out of the juice, but only time will tell with that. I'm actually on my way to to work right now. I did a little bit of uh, school this morning. Uh, well, not school, but I did a little bit of um, studying this morning, did some homework uh, for college, and uh, so now I'm going to work. It's pretty much my uh, my daily uh, routine. But I won't get into that now. I'll leave that for another video. I'll kind of uh, show you guys my daily routine, just to show you what I got going on. Um, one of the reasons I started, uh, one of the ideas that I had for starting a channel was, um, showing people that you can, it's never too late to go back to school. Um, because for a while I never really imagined myself getting back into college cause I'm already paying student loans and I was like, you know, there's nothing I want to do that would get me back into school that would convince me to go back into school. But needless to say, I, I stumbled upon a, um, a career choice that, I'm actually really excited about. So I decided to get get in um, and go back to school, and now I'm working towards a, a degree and a career that I'm, I think I'm really going to enjoy. Um, so I'll get into that in another video, but I appreciate you guys watching this. Again, this is the review of the Juul, J-U-U-L, um, e-cigarette. Um, so leave your comments below. Let me know what you think. Uh, let me know if you've had uh, experience with this and what, what you, uh, how you feel about it. And, uh, yeah, please subscribe for show. Peace.